Hey fifth grade, this is Mrs. Gioka with your flipped math lesson for today. And today we are going to be talking about using arrays and area models to show division. Now, I'm sure you'll remember arrays like when we did numbers like, oh, let's say 12 times 6. And uh, we used an array or an area model to figure out what 12 times 6 equals. And to do that, we had to put numbers in expanded form. So 12 is the same as 10 plus 2, and 6 really can't be broken down much further. Um, so we've got 10 plus 2 up here on the top, and we've got 6 on the side. And then we did 10 times 6 is 60, and 2 times 6 is 12. And then we added together 60 plus 12, well that equals 72. So that is a way of kind of like showing uh, multiplication using um, a picture. So today we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to do division, which means we're going to start off knowing 72, which is the area, and then one of the numbers on the side, and we have to figure out what the other number is. So that's what we're going to do today. Here is our problem to get us started. Theater has 375 seats arranged in rows with 15 seats in each row. How many rows are in the theater? So we know there's 375 seats arranged in rows. There are 15 seats in each row. We don't know how many rows there are, though. Here's how we use an array to figure this out. So I'm going to draw an array, and I know that in the center is 375 seats. So I know that. But what I don't know is exactly what the numbers are on the sides, on, on the two sides. I do know that one of those numbers is 15. So I've got 375 divided by 15. I have to find out what the uh, quotient is, what the answer to the division problem is. So I'm going to take 15, because that's one of the numbers on the side, and I'm going to break it down into expanded form, which is 10 plus 5. That's going to help me do some division here. So I'm going to put 10 up here on the top and 5, and I'm going to break that array in half now. And then I'm going to start um, multiplying by putting numbers here on the side and figuring out how much that equals in the middle and see how close I can get to 375. So I'm going to start off with 10. 10 is a good number to start off with if you're not exactly sure. It'll give you an idea of how much that number is multiplied times 10. So I take the numbers on the side and multiply them together. So I've got 10 times 10 is 100. And then I take this 10 and multiply it again. Then I'm going to multiply it by the 5 this time. 10 times 5 is 50. Now I'm going to figure out what 100 plus 50 is. 100 plus 50 is 150. And I'm going to keep a running total here on the side to compare it with the number I started with, my dividend. So I've got 315. That's what I'm going to try to equal here as I'm adding these numbers together. And I'm at 150. Well, I know 150 plus 150 is 300. So I can add another 10 here on the side. So that's what I'm going to do next. OK, now so I multiply again. I'm going to multiply 10 times 10 it equals 100. And 10 times 5 is 50. So 100 plus 50 is 150. Add it all up together. So now I'm adding up all of these sections together. 150 plus 150 is 300. So I'm already at 300. So I know I'm not going to want to do 10 again. That would just be too much. So I think this time I'll try 5. I'll try about half of, of that and see if that works. 10 times 5 is 50. And 5 times 5 is 25. So I'm going to add those up. 50 plus 25 is 75. So now I have 300 plus 75. That is 375. That's the number that I started with. So I know that these numbers added up together are going to equal my quotient. 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 25. 375 to buy 15, by 15 is going to equal 25. There are 25 rows in the theater. So that would be my answer that I would want to box. Okay? Let's try a few and see how you feel about this. I know this is kind of a different way of going about division, but this is a good way 
to do it that kind of shows you what division really is. So let's practice. So I have 288 divided by 12. Remember, 288, that's how many are inside the box. That's the area. 12 is one of the numbers that's going to be dividing. So I'm going to break it down into expanded form. 12 is the same as 10 plus 2. So I'm going to go up and break down that. And now I have to figure out what the numbers are going to be on the side. So I'm going to start with 10 again. 10 is a good place to start. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 2 is 20. I add these numbers up. This is the area that I know so far. I only know this section right now. So 100 plus 20 is 120. I need to get to 288, so I'm not quite there yet. Let's do another 10. Remember that equals 100. 10 times 2 is 20. 100 plus 20 is 120. Now I'm going to add that up, and that's going to equal all this area. 120 plus 120 is 240. So I'm getting closer. So now I know I'm not going to add 10 again. That would be just too much. So I'm going to try to add another number. I think. Let's try 2. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 2 is 4. So now I've got 20 plus 4 is 24. And I'm going to add that up. Okay, 240 plus 24. So I've got 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then 2. 264. Oh, I'm so close. Let me try one more. Maybe that'll get me there. You know what? On second thought, let me try two more. Because I'm thinking if this was 24, if I add 24 to 264, I think I might have it. So let me try two. Two times 10 is 20. Two times two is four. So I'm going to add on 24. And now that means I'm adding all of this area all up together So to find out if I can get to um, the dividend. So I've got 4 plus 4 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, and 2 plus 0 is 2, 288. That's the number I started with. So these are the quotient 2 plus 2 plus 10 plus 10. That equals 24. So 12 times 24 equals 288. 24 is my quotient. It's my answer. All right, good job. Let's try another one. 608 divided by 16. Now, while I'm drawing it, make sure that you are drawing it along with me, that you are practicing. I'm not doing this on my own. You should be doing this with me. See if you can beat me. Do it a little bit faster than I can, because I have to stop and explain everything. Let's see if you can beat me. 608 is how much is in the middle. 16 is my divisor. I'm going to break that down into 10 plus 6. Let me get rid of that 608 in the middle so we'll have room to write our numbers. And I'm going to figure out what is going on on the side here. So 10 and 6. Those are our 608 is a pretty big number, so what can I multiply times 10 and 6 to kind of get me there? I think, let me start with 20 this time instead of 10. Let's start with 20. 20 times 10, well that's 2 times 1 is 2. Tack on the two zeros, it's 200. 20 times 6, I'm going to do 2 times 6 is 12. Tack on the 0, 120. 200 plus 120 is 320. Wow, I'm almost halfway there, but I know if I did another 20, then I'd add 320 plus 320, and that's 640. That's too much. So let me add on 10 this time. 10 times 10 is 100, and 10 times 6 is 60. So I'm going to add them up. 100 plus 60 is 160. Now I'm adding up this section all together. 320 plus 160 is 480. So I'm not quite there, 
but if I added another 10, remember that would just be too much. So let me try a number that's a little smaller than 10. Why don't I try the number 8? Let's see if that works. 10 times 8 is 80, and 8 times 6 is 48. So now I have 80 plus 48, that's 128. Doing some mental math there. 0 plus 8 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 1 more is 6. 608. That's the same as our dividend. So now I know this must be the quotient. 20 plus 10 plus 8. That's 38. 38 is our answer. If you got 38 before I did, good job. Let's try another. 840 divided by 21. So I've got 840. That's that number here in the middle. 21 is my divi uh, divisor. So I can break that down into 20 plus 1. Let me erase this 840 so I can do my work here. And let's figure out what numbers go on the side. Now 840, that's pretty big, but 20 is a big number to multiply. So I've got to kind of think about this strategically. This is a lot like solving a puzzle. Let me try 20 first. Let's see if this works. Oops, I forgot to draw that line. 20 times 20. 2 times 2 is 4. Tack on the zeros. That's 400. 20 times 1 is 20. So we add that together. 400 plus 20 is 420. And that's, I just added all that right there. Now 420, gosh, I think if I added another 420, then that might be it. So let me try 20 times 20. Again, that was 400 plus 20 is 20, or 1 times 20 is 20. 400 plus 20 is 420. Add it together, and I get 840. And that's the number we started with. That's the dividend. So 20 plus 20 is my quotient. 20 plus 20 is 40. My answer is 40. Okay, got it? Let's see if you can beat me again. This time it's your turn now. I'm going to show you my answers at the end. I want you to write down the problem, draw your array, and see if you can solve the problem and find the missing quotient. All right, good luck. Pause the video, solve the problem, go on to the next one, and continue. I think there's three or four problems, and then at the end I will show you um, how you did. All right, here we go. Okay, number two. Number three. And number four. All right, let's go back, see how you did. All right, number one, 290 divided by 29. So I've got, oops, I forgot to put my pen back on. I've got uh, my array here. 290 is the number in the middle. 29 is my divisor. I'm going to break that down into its expanded form, which is 20 plus 9. And then I'm going to start multiplying. Let's try start with 10. 10 is always the best number to start with. 10 times 200, or two, 20 is going to equal 200, because 2 times 1 is 2. And I tack on the two zeros at the end, 200. 10 times 9 is 90. 200 plus 90 is 290. Hey, that's the number that we started with. So my quotient must be 10. Number 2, 132 divided by 11. So I'm going to start with my array. Inside is 132. On the side I have 11. 11 is the same as 10 plus 1. That's expanded form. So I'm going to start with 10 on the side. Remember that's always the best place to start. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 1 is 10. So now I have 110. 
got to get to 132, so I'm not quite there yet. Um, if I do one more, I know that it's going to be 11, because 1 times 11 is 11. And that's not quite enough. Let me try 2. Okay, problem solving here, troubleshooting. Figuring out on my own. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 1 is 2, so 20 plus 2 is 22. So I add that up and I get 132, which is the same number I started with. So I'm going to add these up. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 is my quotient. Number 3, 247 divided by 19. Remember 247 is that area in the middle. 19 can be broken down into 10 plus 9. Now I'm going to have to figure out what is going to equal 247. So I'm going to start with 10 like I usually do and because that's an easy number to start with. I'm going to multiply that. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 9 is 90. So I've got 100 plus 90. It's 190. And I'm not quite there yet. Let's try 5. Let's see what happens when I get 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 50 times 9, or I'm sorry, 5 times 9 is 45. So now I've got 50 plus 45. That's 95. So I'm going to add that up. 190 plus 95. 5 plus 0 is 5. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 plus 1 is 2. 285. Uh-oh. That 5 is too big. I went over the number I was supposed to go to, 247. So I know that 5 is too big. So I'm going to try it again with a smaller number. Okay, it can't be 5. That one just doesn't work. Let me try 3. See if that works. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 9 is 27. So I add those up. 30 plus 27 is 57. Let's see if that one works. 0 plus 7 is 7. 9 plus 5 is 14. Plus 1, that's 247. Hey, that one worked. That's the number I started with. So now I add these up. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 is my quotient. Last one. 189 divided by 21. Draw my array. 21 can be broken down into 20 plus 1. And now I'm going to start with 10. 10 times 20 is 200. Oh, and right away I can see that that's going to be too big, right? Because 200 is bigger than 189. So I'm not going to start with 200 after all, or uh, 10 after all. That number would just be too big. So let me get my eraser out. I thought that's what it was. So if it can't be 10, it's got to be smaller than 10. So why don't I try 8? Let's see what happens when I do 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Then tack on the 0. 8 times 1 is 8. So 160 plus 8 is 168. So I'm not quite to 189. Let's do one more. 1 times 20 is 20. 1 times 1 is 1. So 20 plus 1 is 21. Now I'm going to add that up. 8 plus 1 is 9. 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus nothing is 189. All right, I got the number I started with, 189. So now I'm going to add these up. 1 plus 8 is 9. So 189 divided by 21 equals 9. How'd you do? How are you feeling about this? If you are feeling lost, and stuck, please let me know so I can give you some help. All right, we are finished. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.